everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name's Josh, welcome to day 20 of Snarkmas. Five days left till Christmas. We wrapping my wife's gifts pretty soon. We're gonna do some fun stuff, sing some Christmas carols and have some fun closer to Christmas. But up till Christmas, we are doing Snarkmas as much as humanly possible. It's gonna be crazy. So today we're talking about Jess fam. Obviously we're gonna snark, but there's like this really concerning thing going on and she doesn't seem to see the danger. And that's quite telling. It's crazy that she thinks this is kind of a flex. When really, if you do two seconds of digging, you start realizing, what the hell? So let's get to it. But before that, we gotta spin the wheel, do a little dance, and uh, give away a prize. So let's go. Yeah, baby. And Dorothy Garcia, you win today. So reach out to me at Josh at the Dad Challenge Podcast.com. Your shirt size, your address, and I will hook you up. Let's get to the snark. Hello, Unas. Hello, Unas. Hey, cutie. Who's a cutie? Cutie patootie. You want to come say hi, too? All right. There he is. Hi. She's got, got a shooting star in his chest. I don't know if you can see that. It's a shooting star. It comes down into a star shape. Can't really see that there. But it's there, I promise. Mm. Okay, go on your bed. On your bed. So we're talking about Jess Fam today and a revelation that has occurred about her kids. We'll snark through the video and we'll get to that point, but uh, obviously it's going to be a whole bunch of bullshit before she gets there. At least her videos are only like 15 or 20 minutes. Like Jess Fam has got the like formula down for YouTube. The least amount of work, the least amount of minutes she has to do to just get that cash. Longer videos don't really pay you that much more. They really don't. And I wish Dr. Dozen would catch on to that so I don't have to snark on an hour long video. You know what I mean? <laughs> now they're going to be like three hours long. You watch. All right, so let's do this. What is this? It's soap. Dumbass. Oh, this intro. I forgot about this. The shittiest intro on the internet. Intro doesn't make any effing sense. Terrible effing intro. Terrible. Freezing. <laughs> they're elves. They can survive the cold. It seems like they're warm though, though. They like have jackets and pants and stuff. You're not a good. Knock knock. <laughs> that fridge is dope. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Holy shit, that's a sweet ass fridge. <laughs> What's up, Good morning. I am. Yeah, I see that. I do see that. You are the thing you're about to say. Put myself together for the day. I have a question for you guys. What foundation do you use? Like, I am not. I'm I use this shit. Where is it? I very, very rarely use it, but it's here in case I need it. It's called Vasanti Liquid Cover Up Foundation Concealer in One. And I don't, I don't have a dabber, so I don't use it. And I don't get zits very often, so. I'm not. I'm not. I make up. Do you own a shirt that fits just one? That's not a crop top? Do you own anything that's just, that fits? You know what I'm saying? That's like my shirts that you wash too much and you're, you still put your arms up and your belly sticks out. Just, just fam. Reinvent yourself. Thanks. 
appreciate it. A person. I wear makeup every day. Yes, I do. That is true. But I know nothing about it. I don't like research it. I don't look into Smart. it. Smart. just do with my oh, blender. That's what I need. One of those soft ball thingies. I feel like I know the blender. basics and like what I do know, I feel like I'm decent at. Like I can I can put my eyebrows on. I feel like I do a good job. But as far as like products go, I can help your girl out. I cannot figure out for the life of me a foundation that looks good on my skin. And I'm not talking color necessarily. I'm talking about like my skin is really, really dry. And on top of that, I'm getting wrinkles. Water. Drink water. Water really expressive with my face. Oh, you're getting wrinkles? Welcome to aging. Look at this. Wrinkles are good, though. They make you look we're refined. Look at that. Hey, ladies. Wrinkles. Wrinkles. I have wrinkles somewhere. I got my forehead. Watch. Wrinkles. See? Hey! Yeah. I like getting wrinkles. Because I, like, it seems like no matter what makeup I put on, I have very visible lines in my face after, like, just a few hours. So this is what I was using. I feel like it's a good brand, isn't it? But, yeah, I don't know. Okay. This is what I'm going to try now. I just bought this the other day. We'll see how I like it. I don't use a primer. Is that my problem? I don't use Probably. Prime. You got to prime it first. That's like painting a wall. You got to prime that shit, man. The makeup. The paint doesn't stay on, right? Primer holds the makeup. Am I right? I know some shit. Just like paint on a wall, primer c makes it work. Primer. I like minimal things on my face. I'm also very... Okay. Just like you don't like confrontation. <laughs> I like minimal things on my face. She does her makeup every day of her life. Acne prone. Like, I'm always breaking out. Like, I have hormonal breakouts. When I, usually I'm ovulating. That's actually what... Oh, my God. We don't need to know about your ovulation. We don't need to know. Dumbass. It is, but I get them here often. Anywho, help your girl out. Give me some recommendations of what- I think you did that wrong. I think you're supposed to dot it, then blend it. I've seen that a couple times. Try, because the reason I don't like putting primer on- Oh my God, that's a diff wrong color, I think. It's like, I feel like a lot of people are going to be like, oh, primer. Like, I hate the feeling of stuff on my face. Like, I- why do you sing the thing while you pour shit on your face? I hate the feeling of stuff on my face while I put tons of shit on my face! I genuinely hate it and I feel like it makes me break out so bad. So, I don't know, there's gotta be some kind of extra. Oh effect. my god. I hate putting shit on my face because I break out so bad. I'm going now continuing to put shit on my face. Okay. So we'll see. I feel like it takes like a few days. That's the wrong color, man. You look like, looks like you saw the ghost of threesomes past. <laughs> to know but anyway my kids are what is stuck. happening right now is so she's putting different stuff on after that right that's just the base layer right looks like you died of dysentery school they're almost on their winter break they're gonna be off for several weeks they have like two and a put half a shirt on days, i think of school left and one thing that has occurred to me today is that i didn't get anything for their teachers yet what is happening right now is this really what she did to her face? Maybe you put too much on or something. That's why you're breaking out. Your, your face can't breathe. I'm the worst gift giver in the entire world. Like I will say That's because you're selfish. So you don't think of other people. I mean, that's not shocking, right? People who are bad at giving gifts are just, they're usually, not all the time, but are just selfish. They're, they think of only themselves. So I just like to point out that I'm the best gift giver on earth. Okay. And loud and proud about that. Not proud, but just like I own up to that. I'm a terrible gift giver. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on Pinterest and look some things up, and that's gonna be my job today. I wanna try to get that. This is, <laughs> and this is what I'm doing today. This is my job. I'm gonna go on Pinterest and look at some chat. My life is so hard, I, guys. <laughs> I work so hard for the money I make. No, she doesn't. Done. That is something that I would really like to do. Like, I love all of my kids' teachers. Link, so so link, 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 link. These kids, and they're just the best ever. But I also don't like... Who's the best ever? One of the reasons I'm a bad gift giver is because I don't like... Very selfish. ...giving bullshit. Like, I want it to be something really cool. Can I not cool? I don't want to put that pressure on me. But at least, like, useful. Probably because I like useful gifts myself. Does she not know she's a walking effing contradiction of herself? And every... Everything that she does. I hate putting shit on my face while she puts immense amounts of shit on her face. You know, I'd like to give something that's cool and I thought well thought out, but you know I don't. But she doesn't. 
Like she's just, she says the things I think she thinks she is, but she's absolutely none of those things. That's a narcissist. That's a narcissist. And in her mind, she honestly thinks she's these things, even though she doesn't follow through with anything. That's why she has no friends except for Sunkiss dung beetle. That's why she has no friends except for Sunkiss dung pile. So I, I feel like I don't want to give just, I don't know, junk. Yeah, I think I might like this. I disagree. You literally look like, I don't know, almost, it's like see-through almost. To be continued. <laughs> yeah, please continue it with something else. Brows on, my eyes on, my do my hair, get a little bit more presentable, catch on the other side. What's up, fam? So, I'm headed out today. And oh, you're not video games today, buddy? Oh, let's see what work he's gonna do, let me guess. Going to Starbucks, probably? And I'm actually going to go pick up a couple of Christmas presents that are slightly customized. So I'm actually getting a couple things embroidered. So they're gonna be a little personalized. I do quite a bit of research. Ended up finding a shop that was like 30 minutes away. I'm gonna go check it out right now. I'm gonna go pick it up. I dropped it off yesterday and I'm gonna go see how it turned out and hopefully it looks good. No wonder this guy's not on camera a lot. <laughs> I'm being forced to do this against my will. I thought you were getting presentable, Jess. You told me you were getting presentable. You didn't. Yeah, that makeup. That's... Nope. Your face looks like you put a different head on your body. Just the word. Landon just called me. I just got a call from the school that Landon is... <laughs> Don't miss it. This is the thing I hate about the vloggers the most. Is that she gets a call from her school... And before she even picks up the phone, she sets up a camera on the other side of the room so she can film herself walking and talking. Imagine this is your life and you have children and you gotta be a parent. But the first thing you think of when anything ever happens is setting up a camera. That's it, that's all you need to know about how shitty these parents are. The camera is more important. They have to capture, if anything is going wrong, if there's some kind of like negative, positive, anything, Mostly negative because they get big views on the negative stuff. Like if their kids get hurt, these people get excited because they know it's going to be content that makes them a lot of money. And you know it's true because they vlog every moment of it. And they get big views on that shit. Just, oh, at minimum, I'm like at, at the at core of family vlogging. Stop doing that. In the office this weekend, we went to an indoor soccer place and the kids had so much fun. The boys had so much freaking fun. But towards the last like 30 minutes of our time there, Landon hurt his knee somehow. But, you know, they're just playing soccer. He hurt his knee. The next morning he woke up and it was still hurting. Pretty bad too. He complained about it all day. So he didn't take him to the emergency room? Cool. Another freaking crazy piece is here. Your knee is hurting so badly all day and you don't take them to the emergency to get an x-ray? That's smart. Real cool. And we kept an eye on it. Monday, he woke up seemingly fine. Um, he didn't complain about it. He even went to tumbling last night and... Probably made it worse. ...was like totally fine. He didn't even say anything about it. So today, right now, I just got a call from the school that Landon is up in the office complaining of his knee pain. So, I guess it's still bothering him, which I'm... You, you think what made you come to that conclusion, Lips? What's wrong with you and your face is fit? Paint. Like, oh, on one hand, I hope, I'm hoping that it's not anything like, like, this is like day four now. Why are these people like this? Your child hurt themselves and you're like, well, we cook an eye on it. You did it. And then you took him tumbling. Tumbling is so bad on your joints. So he hurt himself. He was complaining about it. You didn't take him to the emergency. Could have torn a ligament, you asshole. St these people don't give a shit about their kids. And every single day they make a video and they tell you about it. They're so stupid. Of it hurting. So like, hopefully he didn't like tear something. And the, on the other- Well, how would you know? Unless you took him to get looked at. And he's done with soccer for the year. He, they're still like practicing, but he, they're done with his games. So that's good for him and his team. But he asked if I could bring him medicine. I'm like, of course I'm gonna bring him medicine. So, so I'm going to run- Medicine. No, take that kid to the freaking emergency, get his knee looked at, it's damaged. If you perpetuate the injury, it'll get worse and worse and worse, and he's young, you can fix it now, keep him off the knee for like at least two weeks, because that's gonna be a recurring injury if you don't get it fixed, and you don't give a shit. That's so bad of you. That to him really Again, you said you're getting presentable. I I fail to see it. Quick, okay, I'm open. At what age were your kids able to swallow pills? I feel like I remember the day that I learned how to swallow pills. Um, as of right now, for us, Lilia and Big Caden can swallow pills, and the rest of them still want this liquid stuff. Looks like. 
He needs 10 milliliters. I'm just gonna bring this with me. Oh, smart. Where are you gonna bring a 10 milliliter? Okay. This is so stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, what is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. What is this? This is from your teacher? Yeah. I'm making this? the ornament. Uh, the teachers gave you. Oh, is this? COVID. The teacher sent the kids over the COVID rapid test. Your kids are always sick, lady. Take the test. Is this for teacher too? No. Is this for you guys to return to school no. after the break? It's for the COVID-19 test. I know. I think that's what that's for, right? But this is for your teacher. Okay, now I really need to go get her. Which one is it? Very good. <laughs> she got me it. The teacher got her a gift, but she didn't get the teacher a gift. That's silly. Yeah, I was just saying how I need to go get their gifts. What okay. is it? Which one is it? Really good gift for her. Just sit still. I know. One. So sweet. What? I need help. By the way, how is your knee? Does it feel better now that you have medicine? I forgot. Yeah. No, no, no. Don't listen to your kid. He clearly is injured. Take him to the damn emergency. You didn't complain about it yesterday. Yeah. It just. It wasn't hurting. Yeah. It was just bothering me. Mingy. Mingy. And she still hasn't taken She still won't take this kid. No. We need to go get our snake. I want a snake. Oh, you're so gross. Why do you need you're of course you're gonna get a snake, you weirdo. Hi. Do you wanna come out and hang out? I sense that you wanna come out. He already ate today. You sense. Right. Did he just shit on the carpet? Someone steps on that thing. Love my dragon. Uh uh, get away from my mango. What if your cat eats it? Mowgli hates. Holy, Jess, look at your floorboards, lady. <laughs> Me. I mean, I guess the only thing I like about Jess is that she keeps it real as far as how gross her house is, which is awesome. Oh, and Mango hates Mowgli. But Sadie and Mango like each other. And Sadie and Mowgli like each other. Well, that's not true. Sadie doesn't like Mowgli, but Sadie likes Mango. I feel. I hate you. You dumbass. I'm sensing like a love triangle here, or like a hate triangle. Of course you sense a love triangle. <laughs> Just fan. Why do you sense a love triangle? Do you know anything about love triangles? <laughs> Burn. <laughs> Lots of burning. Actually, look at the sunset on my camera. <laughs> You just look outside. It's so gorgeous out here. I guess it looks cool in real life too. Yeah, you. T <laughs> oh, do you think? <laughs> look at my camera. Oh yeah, I feel like that. So beautiful. But okay. It's only four o'clock. Right, we're heading out now. I've been talking in this British accent. <laughs> the kids are talking I don't even know if it's British to be honest. But I just it's can't... probably not. It's probably shittish. Oh, 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 I was getting burned one. Hello. Come on, kids, get in the car right now. Oh no, Jess. Stop it. Stop culturally appropriating anything. Okay. No. You are like the whitest white that ever whited. So don't do anything. Oh, I'm not going to say the F word. Ew, you're so bad at accents. It makes me hate you even more. <laughs> King of pants. <laughs> but you see, the reason I'm talking like this is because I'm watching the show Ow. on Netflix. And they talk like this. No, they don't talk like that. Who talks like that? Every time. Netflix. Ugh. I've been watching the show. Um, I like watching Netflix. I watched, I watched Love is Blind and it was so, so good. Like, no, it's not. I was obsessed. I watched the whole season, and then after it was done, I was like, "Oh my gosh, what do I watch now?" Not that I freaking have time to do it, but when I do, really, what you what you don't have time to watch Netflix today? What was your job today, Jess? Let's re let's recap what you did today. You went on Pinterest, and it sounds like you didn't even do that shit. That's that's what you said you had to do today. Like at 12, and 12 at night. What'd you do for the seven hours your kids are at school? What'd you do? Yeah, I ended up staying until two in the morning. Until two in the morning. So I found this show called um, Shoot. What is it called? Too Hot to Handle. Uh, of course you watch shit TV. Of course you do. Well, Too Hot to Handle. Come on. There's so much good television right now. We're talking 1883. We're talking 1924. Just started. Yellowstone. Man, we got so much good TV right now. The Crown. The new season's on. My God. The Terminal List. There is so much good TV. And you just watch bullshit. I know I'm too, I'm too, I know I'm too hot to handle. <laughs> Do your kids watch that shit too? That's smart. It's called Too Hot to Handle. And they, I watched season, I think it's season three. Uh, the most recent one. The people on it are from a bunch of different places. And a lot. they all have like accents. And I just love it. Like I want an accent. Your accent's from the sewer. So stop it. I you know, want an accent. Like, we actually do have an accent. But to us. Yeah, it's shit. We don't it's have an accent. Right. It's, it's like. People, they do, they oh do my them, God. 
Piss off, lady. How's your knee? Good, bad, in between? Uh, we went back and forth on if we were going to take Landon to yeah, soccer Landon. practice. No, his knee's injured, you asshole. Get him off the knee for at least a week. Ice it. Okay, after his medicine. So, so we let him go. I talked to his coach. His coach said he didn't even notice a difference. So, Yeah, he's injured. Dumbass. And you can make it worse. I can't believe these people don't know anything. It sounds like that medicine. Especially your deet. Don't mess with your knees. Yeah, at least working right now. I just, I want to make sure that I don't push it. Too late, a whole head. For him, anyway, I said this earlier today. My priority today is to get these gifts for the teachers. So oh I'm my god! Take in right now, we're gonna go to Target probably. I feel like they want to like. Thought you're trying to do something good. Again, Jess is not who she is. There. So me and Pandy are gonna head to Target. Landon, can you help me with some ideas of what to get your teachers? For I thought that's what you were doing today, Jess. That's exactly what you said your whole day was about looking up cool ideas on Pinterest. You didn't even do that. And you're just like, I can't, I'm so busy. For Christmas, Pinterest is going to yourself. Wish me luck. Okay, so I No, I'm not going to wish you luck. Bad luck to you. A few ideas. I think we did this one year where we did like movie baskets and we got like pop decision. We're going to go with the cooking theme. This is my inspo on Pinterest. And then on Amazon, I found different cute teacher sayings. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put like the little pack inside of there and I'm going to get them a little baking, some baking accessories. <laughs> the kids are going to hand the teachers. Is Did your mom bake this? Yeah, she baked it. Thank you for letting me know. That shit's going right in the trash can or on fire or some shit. To add to Would it. you eat something Jess Van baked? Would you? She doesn't even know anything about anything. At least she has normal thumbs. I feel like that's perfect. He's coming to pack a four, so I need to get two. What is your nail polish? Two of those. Have a little self respect, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing for the kids' teachers. I did! You wanna come pick one for each of your teachers? Um, the thing is, is that two of the things I found on Amazon and they're not gonna get you. You're not even baking from scratch, you're just buying a mix. You should have just bought cookies. <laughs> Same shit. Here until tomorrow and the next day. They're barely gonna make it in time, but. Chick-fil-A chocolate chip cookies. If I was a teacher and I got a Chick-fil-A chocolate chip cookie, put that in the microwave for 10 seconds. Like, sex is great. Don't get me wrong. But a warm Chick-fil-A chocolate chip cookie? <laughs> right? Whew, I need a cigarette or something. Um, let me show you guys what I... So, I got these oven mitts, okay? And cookie mix in each of them. Oh, <laughs> She's not even gonna bake the cookies. She's just gonna give them a damn Betty Crocker cookie mix. Are you shitting me? You're a great teacher. Bake your own damn cookies, asshole. <laughs> And then I also bought on Amazon coordinating colored spatulas. Like, so oh different. my god. Anyway, and then I'll probably put like a little note, like from Addie's family, Tyson's family, Caden's family, Landon's family. So that's just my idea. So apparently, I don't know this, but apparently, some people have been talking on the thread. If you go to Jess Fam Snark on Reddit, and I'll show you that in a second. Uh, Caden's not on there anymore or something. Something's going on in the back end that nobody really knows what's happening. Wait, okay, I thought that was really cute. We'll put this together and then we'll give that to your teachers for Christmas. Are you actually kidding me? I thought you were kidding. Mom, Kyson just told me at school today he, his friend searched up the most handsome boys in the world. And Hear what she just said there. Kyson said his friend at school searched up the most handsome boys. His friend at school searched this up. And Kai at the top 30, and Kyson's on the list. He's number 18 on the list. Oh my God. It says Kyson wrote, and it has his. Why you lie, Jess? Why you lying? I got sent this list by a bunch of people before even Jess talked about it. Somebody sent Jess this list, and she's sitting here using her child to lie to you. Why is her son's friend at school Googling top 30 most handsome boys in the world? Why? Who would Google that? Why you couldn't even make up a good lie? Why don't you just say one of my fans sent it to me or you did this? You paid a person to write this or something. Picture. Kyson Roke was born in the year 2012 in the state of California. He is well known for his involvement with the popular Just Fam YouTube channel where he appears alongside his mother, Jessica Scooby, and twin brother Keaton in several posts. His YouTube channel, which runs his family, has over 1.2 million subscribers. In addition, his Instagram has a total of 32.5 thousand followers. <laughs> She's very excited about this, by the way, and doesn't realize how dangerous this is. Has no idea. It's just like, oh, you're on, like, she, this is all that matters to her. Oh, you're on the list of most handsome boys? First of all, we're going to take a look at the list for a second. And great, everybody's kids are handsome. Everybody thinks their kids are the best kids in the world. Great. I'm not, I'm not saying they're not handsome or whatever, right? But just doesn't, is, 
It doesn't even click with her because she's so stupid. Her whole world is on the internet. She thinks this is a flex, that this is a good thing. It's not, and I'm going to show you in a second. He searched up most kids and kids in the world and his best friend was on there. Dad. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Uh, nope. I am tripping right now. And that's the photo they used. I was like... This school photo, which is available on her website. No, Kaisen, he's probably just like messing with you. Like Jess, why are you lying so badly about this? We can see through this lie. We can see absolutely see through this lie because we're going to look at the list in a second. But there's a couple more concerning things. First of all, you should never have brought this to anybody's attention because that's effing creepy that there's even a list out there of the 30 most handsome children on the internet. You don't see a problem with that? It's probably not. And he goes, no, search it up. And he was like, yeah, maybe he is messing around with me. And I'm scrolling down and sure enough, Kaisen wrote, I mean, I have to agree. Let's see if Caden's on there. Caden's on there too! They knew. And she's just lying. Let's see if Caden's right below him. Oh, oh, there he is. You're right. Oh, surprise shocked face for the camera. Jess, what are you... Uh, if, if you are Jess Fam's fan and you were... And you're like, oh, what a coincidence. And you, you believe this? You're an idiot. And I have a bridge to sell you in New York if you're looking real cheap. Five bucks. Right? You're dumb if you believe anything's coming out of her mouth right now. Katie! I'm he's number 19. They're twins. Article about the most handsome kids in the world and Kaisen and Kaden. Wait, they're there. not they're not twins. Who wrote this article? Oh, I'll tell you in a second. And maybe you should have researched it before you put this on the internet, Jess. Okay? This article was written July of 2022. Says, the world has been divided into generations. The current generation, the millennials, and the next generation. Nowadays, the world is full of extremely handsome children. There are so many wonderful youngsters and captivating faces worldwide. And you, she's reading this off. Doesn't do any research of the of the person who wrote it. Nothing. Just like telling the world about this guy. Doesn't know anything about this. And her son ends up on a list on the internet of the most handsome boys. And she's like, this is great. If your children, anybody out there, end up on a list like this, take your kids off the internet. Do you not see the danger in this? It became difficult to choose among them. And in this piece, we've done our best to assemble a list of the world's most attractive children. All of these kids are... <laughs> She's reading it. The world's most attractive... The words attractive children on a list on the internet, as soon as those came out of your mouth, did you not realize how creepy and predatory that is? There should be no such list of women, of boys or girls with the word attractive next to it. That's, that's pedophilic. Do you not realize that, Jess? And we're going to find out in a second. Hold on. Beauties with perfect features. I think there should be more than those. Like, look. <laughs> look, she's built that into them. I should be more than 18 on the top 30. Oh, my God. You him in all his glory. No, he, just, he just got out of the shower. It's 18. 18. It's like the first article that pops up when you type in most handsome kids in the world. Is that crazy? Again, who's typing that in? Who is typing that into Google? See, how do you feel? How does it make you feel? I had, to, I had to literally find the exact title of the article to look up the article because it's so specific. And it doesn't, I, I popped up Jess Fam, good looking kids, Jess Fam, handsome kids, Jess Fam, beautiful kids. Nothing came up until you typed in that exact phrase. Ew. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, show me that most handsome smile for me the world not that i'm biased or anything but I have to agree. I have to agree. what about your again why would you even bring attention to this now your other kids who are like i'm not on a list you should be scared that your kids are on this list jess and you're like flexing this on the internet like a moron well, anyway folks on that note we're gonna wrap up this video yeah we're please do clean this place up a little bit the kids are officially in bed and we are signing off the tip today's video thank you so much for watching i hope you have a fantastic day and we'll see you in our next video f off him head Dumbass. Bye, guys. Piss you. Piss you. Suck my piss. Okay. So, here we go. Here's the article right here. So, if you look at the article, and I've done a little bit of research. Sorry, guys. I know you hate when I do it. So, here it is. It's by Hood WMR, which is a blog that doesn't exist anywhere but right here. No social media. Nothing. No Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Nothing. And she's big flex on this. 30 most handsome kids in the world. She just read that to you. I don't know who Luke Ryan is. He's an actor. Romeo Beckham. Okay, he's all going to be famous kids, so already it's creepy. Okay? And, and all these famous parents with famous kids, take heed. Because people are doing this, making lists like this.
Okay, this is uh he's a model and professional footballer. He's like six. Oh, born 2002. Okay, he's 20 years old. Okay, so Luke Ryan's a kid. Okay, got it. Then you got Romeo Beckham, who was born in 2002. So Romeo Beckham is almost 21 years old. He's not a child anymore. Alec Gollinger, born in 2005, also not a child anymore. Levi Miller, born in 20, 2002, also 21 years old. Mason Moon Morehouse. They're all model actors, right? See, 2007, still not a child. Well, I guess, teenager. Most of these are still are like 18 and above now. Like this one here is 23 years old now. So they're posting just pictures of when they were children, which is kind of creepy, I'm not going to lie. Jane Smith is like born in 1998. This kid's like 26 years old now. He's not a kid anymore, man. So why are you flexing on this? So 18 is Alex Roy Jukok. Oh, are these kids off the list now? <gasps> oh, here we go. 23. I guess he got bumped down. Kyson Roke got bumped down to 23. YouTube star is his name, born in 2012. And then Caden Roke, uh, which is a different picture than she showed when she showed the article. So she's got the picture changed, maybe? Uh, he's also a YouTube star. And they are, I don't know if they're twins. I think they might be twins. And then Liam Ethan, again, just bullshit. So I, I, did, I go down the path a little bit, right? I figure, I'm like, okay, who wrote this article? Then I Googled um, John Marty. Doesn't come up. This guy is a ghost on the internet. Does not exist, okay? I said, John Marty, you know, Hood WMR, John Marty, um, author, all that stuff. So if you go to uh, about section of this website, okay, and you go down to the Hood WMR team, it's just a bunch of young people, right? Hood is a personal blog that focuses on the intersection of urban culture, sportswear, fashion, and lifestyle. This is John Marty, okay? He's a shoes expert. And you're thinking, why is a shoes expert writing on the most handsome children in the world? Good question. Does this guy even exist? I'm going to search image with Google and see what pops up. No results. No results. This guy's photo is nowhere on the internet. Nowhere, so far as Google's concerned. Okay, so who is he? I don't know. So John Marty is an expert in shoes. In the past, he's worked in shoes manufacturer. Now he's working on a blog that specializes in shoes. John, was been, John has been blogging on this subject for over five years and has built his blog up to the popular site Hood WMR. Okay, Hood MWR. That's it. That's all we know. So I messaged them. I emailed them. I said, hi there. I'd like to speak to the author of the article about the handsome kids. Just checking to see if you arrived at the, how you arrived at the kids in the article. Thank you. Guess what came back? Mail delivery subsystem address not found. You can't even email this blog. And they don't exist on the social media world whatsoever. This is it. Contact us. We'd love to hear your voice. I have a contact page, which I already also did. And they don't even give you the email. You have to like type it in. So they do it like this instead of saying it, which is super weird, by the way. Currently, our team can only reply on the email and no social media. Why is that? I wonder. Affiliate disclosure. Hood, w, Hood MWR is an uh, Amazon affiliate. So they make money by, hey, check out these cool things. They link them. Hood WMR accepts forms of cash, advertising, sponsorship, paid insertions, or other forms of compensation. The compensation received will never influence the content. Topics or posts made in this blog. Okay. All advertising is a form of advertisement generated by third-party AdWord Network. What I'm trying to see here is, because this is such a weird article and uh, you can't see who made it. There's no, there's no way to contact them. There's no social media. Nobody owns it. Did Jess fam pay somebody to put her kids in this article? That's a question we get to ask. Okay, so if John Marty's a shoe expert, why is John Marty writing about handsome children on the internet? And doesn't exist anywhere. Like if you go to Instagram, John Marty, nope. Hood damn you are, nope. John Marty does not exist anywhere. If someone is a blogger and talks about fashion and everything else, you'd expect them to have a social media presence, right? That's generally how this works. How do you have a blog without having a blog, without having a picture, without having, hey, contact me here if you have any cool information. John Marty, in my opinion, does not exist. Okay, this site is a ghost site for some weird reason, and that should scare the shit out of Jess Fam. Did you not do any research to this? Whatever, I just it took me five minutes to find that this is a this is a weird site, run by some weird people. Okay, 
I, it could be an AI. I'm like, I'm not kidding. It could literally be an AI, an AI like an AI generated site. Again, this guy's a good, they're all ghosts, man. None of these people exist. And Jess is here flexing that their kids are on this weird list. And how do they get there? No, no, and there's no rhyme or reason. And it's all famous kids, right? And these kids just happen to pop in there. It's very sus is what I'm saying. Jess, absolutely, in my opinion, allegedly had her hand in this because she wants her kids to be on these lists. And that's super weird and it should be. It should Everybody should be like, that's creepy, Jess. You should probably do a little research into who's putting your list, your kids on lists. So there you go, everybody. This, this, this article that our kids are in is a bullshit piece of garbage. It doesn't even, there's no, it doesn't really exist. It exists as in like someone just compiled it or an AI generated or an AI computer thing generated it. That's it. This happens all the time. People generate articles. There's AI generated articles about like Dad John's podcast, too. It all exists. There is AI generated content out there that's just companies do it because they get clicks to their site and it's ad revenue. That's a weird thing that you can't find any of these people who own this website that have your children in a list. That should be a major red flag for you, Jess. But you're like, oh my God, I'm so excited. My kids are beautiful. <laughs> Look how beautiful we all are. Jess, it's one of the most important things a parent can do. And here's dad. Here's some dad advice for everybody, okay? Is yeah, love your children and tell your children they're beautiful and they are amazing how they are. But there is a little bit too far when you start developing your kids into narcissists like you are. Okay, narcissists breed narcissists. If you don't teach your kids how to be humble or to have any humility whatsoever, they're gonna be hated by lots of people. Jess has no real friends in the world. And the only other friend she really does have is exactly like her, a narcissistic, a narcissistic scumbag. Sunkissed narcissist, right? That's it. Narcissists don't have close friends. Although they probably don't see it the way we see it, they have shitty lives because they're lonely. They don't get their like value from other people loving them. They get their value from the clicks and likes they get on social media. And so she's, she's developing her kids to be like this because if you look at her daughter and the abilities her daughter has, and if you heard Jess say, hey, this is how good my daughter is at all these things, you'd think that her daughter was amazing at all these things, right? And then when you hear or see her daughter do those things and you're like, no, that's on Jess, okay? Because her daughter is being told that she is something she is not. And that's just detrimental to your children. Like, I'm not going to lie to my children either, to a degree, right? If my kid sucks at something, like, Everly really, really wants to be good at pickleball. She's not there yet, right? But I'm not going to be like, you're so good at pickleball. I'm like, no, we're going to work harder on your pickleball. Here are some really good things you can practice. And we got her a net and we're going to get good. I'm not going to be like, you're so good because she thinks she's good because then she'll suck. I want my kid to be good, <laughs> right? But there are some things that my children are really, really, really good at. And I'll, to the top of the world, like singing and having perfect pitch and all that shit. And I, you know, I blame their mom for that because she's got amazing pitch. But at the same time, if I'm not going to like, I'm not going to groom my children to be entertainers like what these people are doing. Just you are doing your children a disservice by doing this. And you know that. And you're a bad parent. And you suck ass. And you still didn't get presentable for the camera. All right? Everybody take a deep breath. If your children end up on a weird list like this, get them off the internet. Okay? Especially if you can't find out who wrote the article and some weird no-name ghost wrote it. That could be a predator, you weirdos. But you're not a weirdo. You're amazing, credible, valuable. Christmas is coming. I hope you guys are doing very well. Don't forget you need to be here. Don't fly flare, you assholes. And I'll see you tomorrow.